Today we're building a monster frame out of PVC pipe. We're gonna also use this plastic torso frame and a clown costume from the Halloween store. Y'all stay tuned. To get started on the project, we're gonna have to drill holes in the bottom of the mannequin, in the leg area, and also in the top where the shoulders are. Each leg is gonna be cut at 52 inches and it will extend all the way up through the mannequin to the shoulder. Now to put the frame together, we're gonna to take the torso and insert the legs through the bottom and get ready to start making the neck and shoulder part of the frame. This part of it will consist of three one inch tees and two 45 degree elbows. We will also need about four one inch pieces of pipe that's gonna measure a little less than two inches long. We may come back and glue this all together, but at first we're gonna do a dry fit and make sure all of our measurements are right. If you look close here, you'll be able to tell that I did have to go back and cut the pipe that is between the T's a little bit so that they could fit in the shoulder part of the mannequin. Now to get started on the arms, we're gonna need two pieces seven inches long, and these will be for the upper part of the arms. We will need two pieces for the bottom part of the arm, and they're gonna measure about 10 inches long. And this is gonna depend on the pose that you want. And another way you can change the pose of the monster is changing the elbow. Uh, we give ours a 90 degree elbow, but you could also do a 45 degree. So here's a look at the monster so far. And there's only two things left to do. And the next one we're gonna get started on is the actual neck. We need to cut off the top part of the mannequin so we can run our pipe up through and connect it to our styrofoam head. To do that, we need to insert a pipe about two inches long. So it will let us put this three quarter inch pipe down through it so we can insert the styrofoam head. Now to make the base of the monster, we're basically creating a rectangle that is gonna connect to the legs on the bottom of the monster. This will allow for a platform to sit some weights on. Another thing I'm gonna do to secure the head is use some hot glue for the styrofoam to the neck and the neck to the shoulders. If there's anything you saw that I could do better, uh, if you would leave it in the comments below, this is the first one I've ever made, and I'm sure I made a lot of mistakes on it. And I also thought using the one inch pipe would give it a little more strength. I've saw a lot of people use three quarter inch, and I just thought this would be a little more sturdy for the actual project. <laughs> 